So a friend of mine the other day contacted me and said, hey, what do you think about MK677? Another person I met randomly at the gym said, hey, what do you know about MK677? And then someone told me, I've seen it on TikTok, this MK677. Well, I've got to say, MK677 is nothing new. I've known about MK677 for probably about 15, 20 years now, and I was never impressed, and I never thought it was going to be helpful. So what is MK677? Some young people are using because they think it's going to improve their growth hormone levels naturally. MK77 was one of the worst because we all knew that we did one bad thing that none of us wanted to have happen and that was to increase prolactin. It's not nice having elevated prolactin. Now some studies show it's on average as high as 27%, almost like getting your levels, you know, into the upper ends of normal. When prolactin goes up, dopamine goes down. So you don't want things that are going to diminish your dopamine. It might be short-lived. All in all, there are much better prescribed peptides like sermorelin, like tezomorelin, that will boost your growth hormone if you have a deficiency that will work better than MK677, not to mention some of the issues around insulin sensitivity and uh, potentially, you know, this increased hunger, I think is why a lot of younger people are trying to get it to bulk up, but it's not ideal. Look, the only licensed prescribed peptides are tesmorelin and sermorelin. MK677 was taken off the market by, well, it wasn't even on the market, it was tested by Merck, and it never really went past early phase, I think one or two clinical trials. So overall, I know everyone on the internet Internet, oh, MK677, there are so much, so many better, better options out there. I'm not a big fan of MK677. It's nothing new. It's funny how all this gets recycled over time, and I don't know who's pushing it, but I got a real problem with it. So, no, to my friends that have asked, don't touch MK677. Get a prescription if you have a deficiency for growth hormone, and if you had to test or use a peptide that may be beneficial and have healthy benefits for your sleep, I would say something along the lines of, you know, tezomorelin or or Sir Morellin. If you've been asked about MK677, let me know in the comments. I'd love, love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe and like the channel.